May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom of the TV channel. In this channel, I'm going to be showing you a video created or released by Pastor Demina, which he talks about Good Money on the Spirit, the book written by Pastor Dom Benny Him. And now there's a reply from your purpose to Justice Sulema, which everything's got all together. So you're going to be watching the video right from beginning to the end. Please stick to this channel, like our video, share, even subscribe to our channel. God bless you as you watch. Amen. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Somebody said, Dr. Demina, why don't you teach on the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. <laughs> What's there to teach on the Holy Spirit? What's there to teach on the Holy Spirit? What? The Holy Spirit is Jesus. The Holy Spirit is God. If you know Jesus, you know the Holy Spirit. Trying to teach you on the Holy Spirit can become another gospel. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, but they are they which do what? Testify of me. Beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. A preacher some years ago wrote a book, Good Morning Holy Spirit. The book has gone into extinction because the book is full of nonsense. It's gone into extinction because the book is full of nonsense. I read it many years ago. And every time I read it, I'm just reading, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. And I'll be waiting for the Holy Spirit to throw me down. Nonsense. If you are still welcoming the Holy Spirit, get born again. Once you are born again, you don't welcome the Holy Spirit. He lives in you. Do you welcome yourself to your house? Do you welcome yourself to your house? Your house is your house. You are the house of the Holy Ghost. He lives inside you. He doesn't need a welcome. Uh, leave that day. Listen to this, everybody. Pastor Benny Hinn, a great man of God. One of the foremost ministers in the healing ministry. You cannot currently talk about the healing anointing without honoring a legend and I feel very uncomfortable when I hear people start attacking somebody like that very uncalled for very uncalled for and I've warned some of you pastors to stop forwarding some funny things to me for my own health my spiritual health somebody forwarded something to me where a man of god was attacking pastor benny for writing a book good morning holy spirit so why would you forward this thing to me now he said i want to know if he's right or wrong who made me referee if that's what he feels it's okay if that's what the man feels it's okay but i think jesus gave a full chapter to the holy spirit jesus the whole of chapter 16 of john in fact from chapter 14 he mentioned chapter 15 if jesus our lord who is our model could give full chapter to the holy spirit then one book on the holy spirit is not enough pastor benny should write more you can't be causing confusion all over the place in the name of revelation confusion everywhere in the name of revelation you corrected pastors now you are correcting scripture what is this now you are correcting preachers now you are not correcting bible that this is not what should be here ah you are, your case emergency we have to catch you our brother is going on we have to catch you we have to catch our brother this is our brother we love our brother Stop attacking him. Some of you are attacking him. Don't attack. You are, you are still in an emergency situation. You are attacking him. Our brother is going. You can't be using common sense to ex explain the Bible. The Bible is scriptural. Yeah? This is an emergency. This is a, it's a, it's a psychiatric situation. No? You attack this. You attack this. You attack this. You tear this down. This is an emergency. It's a crisis. We don't have to look for our brother wherever. Catch him. Has he brought? Say yeah. We have to. <laughs> this is an emergency. Oh. But don't 
Don't, don't, don't attack anybody. Love them. But please, when you see things like that, start praising Father in the name of Jesus. Restore. 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 Because it's a serious situation. Why I'm saying that is because of the young virgin minds that are not groomed. Some people don't know God. Some of you looking at me now, you remember your foundational days. You remember your youthful days as a young person. If you are in the, with the Lord, if you are doing evangelism, saving souls, but mother's generation, there is nothing they can look back to their youthfulness. All their youthfulness was spent on social media correcting pastors. Commenting on messages they don't. There's no memory about their youthfulness. Sir, there are memories we have of when evangelism, of how we, how we confronted witch doctors. You have such things, but they don't have any memory of such. Just turn their phone. This is wrong. This one is right. This one is, you are commenting on, on, on matters of deities. So, Pastor Ben Hain, this is my emphasis, was ministry in Orlando, Florida. I just came from Florida. A part of Orlando was ministry. OCC, Orlando Christian Center. And he grew a church to 7,000. Healing. Papa Idaosa preached there. Many great men preached there. Ura Robert preached there. Copeland preached there. Great men preached there. One day he was praying. And the Lord said, I didn't send you to do this work. 7,000. You are a vessel. But this is not your assignment. That was the church. Did you see that crowd? And God said, I didn't send you. Guess what God said? Close it down. 7,000. Make me a vessel for the master's use, not my use. There are some of you who are opening branches, and that branches may be the crisis of your life because God called you for just a singular work. And there are some who are doing singular work, God called them to open branches. And there are some God does not want them to open more than three or four, but they want to be everywhere. Master's use, master's use, not my use. The master's use make me a vessel for the master's use are you getting something in this meeting this is a great message here yeah? yeah every point of that view are very correct concerning what um, pastor demina talks he has a point he has a point in what he's saying and uh, apostle joseph Suleiman also has a point in what he's saying it's just for us to understand where two of them are just driving from and uh, what they really meant not the contents okay let me say the contents of what they are saying not the figure of what they are saying you know mentioning people sometimes or directing what some other ministers look somehow and uh, is somehow and if you can see if you can understand the person as a you know honorable person in the body of christ it to be hard for such or someone to support such you know accusation or a lot of stuff like that I pray that the Lord will help us and uh, God will bless us in the body of Christ. Give us understanding to understand some certain things that have been discussed and uh, I pray God will lead us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do want to like our video, subscribe to our channel, share Ivara and uh, comment. We want to see your comments. May the Lord bless you. Amen.